Welcome back, Commanders. Let's play Command and Conquer Nod. In the previous video, we completed the PSX, that's the original PlayStation, Special Ops Mission 1 for Nod. In this video, we are going to attempt PSX Special Ops Mission 2 for Nod. And that will, in fact, be the last mission of this Let's Play. So I'll select that mission and let's click OK. Straight to the mission objective screen. The GDR base in this area must be destroyed. The Brotherhood has no resources to spare, so you will have to acquire some. Acquire in quotes. <laughs> so let's click OK. Waiting what I've done is I've lowered the speed as the beginning of this mission requires a lot of micro. It's actually unusual. Normally these rocket soldiers don't attack the first Chinook transport, but that just happens. I've tried to draw the fire of the grenadiers with the uh, minigunner and kill them with the flamethrowers. And now I'm going to try to draw the fire of the medium tank with the minigunner and kill that with the rocket soldiers. Unfortunately, that yes, seems to be working. I'm trying to get some unit groups going here so I can hopefully micro a little bit better. And we need to be quick because I'm trying to do something special. Mission. Yeah, I'm trying to play this um, different to than how the developers intended. And to do that, we need to be quick. And I'll show you more soon. Don't want to take damage on our rocket soldiers. Okay. So what the developers, I believe, were intending was sell the construction yard. Buy an engineer. Take over a Chinook transport, which is here, and fly over here and take over this base with engineers. But I want to hold on to this construction yard. So I'm going to try and do this a little bit different. And I'll show you how. So there's a couple of guard towers. We can't see them, they're in the shroud at the moment. Terrible Reporting. carving and controlling of these rocket tools at the moment. But anyway, the guard tower is hidden in the shroud yes, here. And let's get a. Yes, I don't want to destroy those transports. Yes, sir. I want to Good. destroy the guard tower. There it is. We can attack it now. It's really hard to find in this round. And we don't want to destroy these because we want to use them later. But we only need, really need at least one to survive. Minimum, that is. I'm using two groups of rocket soldiers to hopefully take this out quicker. Now it looks like I did a minigunner come out of that. Yeah, so I'll just try and get that with my own minigunners. And 
let's find the other one in the shroud. Okay, got it. Now it is possible to get more on it. But there's always a chance that they position themselves incorrectly and then get attacked. Okay, we got lucky, we got three on there. I'm happy with that. We'll take that out a little bit quicker now. And then afterwards, our next strategy is to send a minigunner ahead to draw fire and then we'll use our rocket soldiers to kill what is across the river, which you'll see soon. And then whilst that's happening, we will run these over and get a crate. Now, was that the... Was that destroyed? I believe it was just destroyed. So that's our cue to send this minigunner across. And send these over. Okay, so that minigunner is drawing the fire. And... These flamethrowers are going to run over here to get a crate, which is off screen currently. Okay, so draw the fire of the mammoth tank, whilst the rocket soldiers shoot the mammoth tank. And meanwhile, our flamethrowers can just walk on past. And I can up the speed a little bit now. But this is time critical, we need to get to that refinery. Uh, we need to get an engineer to that refinery as soon as possible. So we need to get this crate with money in it as soon as possible. Okay, we need to set these units up because there will be a counter attack. So watch out for Tiberian as well. And I don't know if you saw the harvester, but we need to get an engineer here before the harvester comes back again. Okay, so in this structure here, there is a crate. So we'll destroy this to get the crate. And start preparing these units. Uh, for when the enemy comes. Spread them out so they don't uh, all take damage. And it's important we don't attack the harvester, otherwise the harvester will try to crush our flamethrowers. And actually, the engine is not going to make it for this run, but the next one. Civilian's gone and killed himself on the Tiberian. Unfortunately for him. This minigunner's survived. This engineer has come out, so we need to send that as soon as possible. I want to send it here and hopefully arrive in time to get the money from the harvester. Let's just up the speed a little bit for a second. Ready, uh, unless my units start doing something silly like running on Tiberian. Yes, Roger. And prepare for the right inevitable counterattack. And we have to watch out, they also do airstrikes. Building. They are enemy. Now, I'm go not going to repair the structures at the moment because I really want to get. Uh, Ready and we're out. really short on Tiberian. Okay, 
Okay, getting close now to the point yes. where I want to reduce the speed. Okay, so let's just reduce this for a sec as uh, we need to micro very well. So as soon as that harvester gets in there, we want to Coming capture out. that to maximize stealing captured. their cash and prepare for their counterattack. And I can repair this power plant and repair this construction yard a little bit now. Uh, the power plant can stop us from being low power. And here comes the inevitable counterattack. We need to be careful. I just want to make sure that complete. my vehicles don't get crushed. Oh, sorry, my, my, my units don't get crushed by their vehicles. And make sure this harvest is going over here. Mostly the rocket soldiers need to do the damage. Be careful that they don't uh, damage our structures as well. Okay, harvesters are harvesting. Close to rearing, they're doing well. Getting cash now. Um, we can get another. Oh, actually, we'll get a hand of nod over here so we can get an engineer over here. Take the power plant, take the construction yard if we can. And we need to get ready because they will do an airstrike. So, let's get a mini gunner that's north enough. And also we need to start building defenses here. As soon as possible because they will be sending an attack as soon as possible. So this one to get the advanced power plant. Advanced power plant costs 700, engineer costs 500, it seems like a good deal. So I want to lay down a turret as soon as possible. Building. GDI building captured. Okay, we are sitting pretty on power. We are getting tubering well. Now I've got a second, I'll control these harvesters. Some walls that I don't need. Yes, Moving out. Try to send the houses on the Tiberian that has uh, powered up a bit better. And here comes an attack, and we are getting a turret as soon as we can. That mini gonna die, so I'll send another one up here. Hopefully, that one can survive. We need to get another turret and repair what we can. There's a lot of vehicles coming, so focus fire is going to be important. And hitting that repair button is also important. So I'm going for the uh, rocket vehicle, the rocket tank first. As that one has does a lot of damage and has it's a lot of complete. armor. for this medium tank next. Now they're going off and unfortunately there are two Humvees in that group which will decimate my infantry. Base 
turrets under attack. So we may need to get a turret over there. Yes. Maybe after this mini gun about the looks of things. Building. I want to get an engineer because I want to capture their construction yard because I want to build guard towers as well. harvesters make sure that they are harvesting efficiently and that actually worked out alright because they just went after that minigunner but didn't come through here and destroy everything in this place so another minigunner over there okay we can build guard towers now as we have the GDI construction yard as they do send rather devastating infantry attacks as well. Important thing is we are surviving. Just change the speed to a regular speed. Construction complete. Now that guard tower is in preparation for the infantry attacks. Construction complete. Speaking of infantry attacks, here comes an infantry attack. With a mammoth tank. But it's a rather well coordinated attack. Unfortunately we were prepared because those infantry can do very well against uh, turrets. Our base is under now with a bit of focus firing we can use these defenses more efficiently. Get another turret. Building. And they like to do sneaky attacks over here. Construction complete. So I'm trying to get something to do with that as well. Building. Construction complete. Let's build a guard tower here, as uh, they do like sort of sneaky engineer attacks. The guard tower hopefully will prevent that. And yeah, here's another wa they are pretty relentless, here's another wave of infantry. And I'm going to start working on my offensive plans. Okay, good. We do still have a unit up there to draw an airstrike. Ready and wait, sir. Ready and wait. Affirmative. I'll Building. get an engineer to capture one of these unit transports. Unit ready. Repair some structures that need repairing. Reporting. One, yep. Waiting one of them is on Moving full out. health, so we'll take that one. Now there's the airstrike I was Ready talking about. Okay, so the important thing is if we can survive now. We can start thinking about attacking. So I'm going to send the minigunner. This minigunner is going yes. to be a scout. Vehicle reporting. Moving out. Actually, I want to send the rocket soldier. Yes. Well. Yes, sir. Oh, the infantry yes. just happened Moving to Roger. come through there yes. and go. And I'll 
I'll start building, building engineers for yes, this plan as well. And let's just put this ship of transport down here ready. somewhere safe. And send Wait these units sir. up. Now we're running out of this immediate tub room here, but there's plenty of tub room on this map. It goes up here and goes up in there's plenty of tub room in the top left corner. Which we can't see at the moment. Yeah, and as you can see, the turrets are not so effective against infantry. Because guard towers really are important. And we just lost a rocket soldier already. Hopefully, we can do enough scouting. Not enough. We need a rocket soldier up there. We need a rocket soldier to... Oh, we need... Oh, yeah. Well, that's Building. Hap I'm happy Building. to hear that. We've got a good amount of money at the moment. Unit ready. Building. I'll try and send another yes, rocket sir. soldier up there to do some better scouting. Them later. Reporting. Yes, affirmative. Right away, sir. Reporting. Right away, sir. Moving out. Building. Unit ready. Building. I'm yes, getting sir. this guard tower for later and for when we capture things in their base, hopefully. That's the plan. Sending their harvesters in here, which and we are attacking them, so they won't be happy. Yeah, fighting for the little Tiberian that is left in this corner. I'm not too fussed whether we kill their harvesters or not, that's not our win plan. This rocket soldier hopefully gives a better view. Yeah, we can see the base here, so we can just take out a wall or two. So we can land a Chinook transport here and make an entrance to their base. Gosh, they are on point today with killing my scouts. Let's just hope this will work. Waiting order, moving out. Yes, sir. Ready and waiting. Roger. Yes, sir. Reporting. Yeah, if Roger. one of those rocket Unit tanks reporting. is still there when we try to drop engineers, they will reporting. be dead. Okay, speaking of those rocket tanks, here comes yes, one. I think that is the one. Ready and waiting. You got it. Morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. At least oh, it's not now. in it's not defending their base at the moment. Okay, we're gonna lower the speed. As this is mission critical time. We're gonna go in here and capture whatever we can. Place down a guard tower in a nice location. Land our ship of transport here. Acknowledge. Moving out. 
Propar engineers. Yes, sir. GDI building captured. Waiting order. Roger. You got it. Acknowledged. GDI building captured. Moving out. Moving out. Our base is under attack. Now we do want to get key structures such as their barracks and their weapons factory so they can't produce any more units. GDI building captured. GDI building captured. And yeah, this is our quick way to victory. Start getting their vehicles Building. in their base, and we may as well get a turret as well. Now, if you're wondering Building. why the advanced guard tower started stopped attacking, that's because they are now low power. Construction complete. Barracks in their base, so we can get another engineer. Building. Two. Vehicle reporting. Acknowledged. And at this point, we can just make the speed pretty normal. And let's just start Unit destroying ready. their Building. base. Maybe pick up. Oh, Roger. we can pick up some silos. Yeah. We'll have some cash in them. GDI Building captured. That's fantastic. Building. Construction complete. Do some scouting with this medium tank. Building, building. Yes, moving out. We got more silos over here. Unit ready. GDI building captured. Affirmative. Affirmative. Yeah, it looks like they might have a harvester coming back as well. Building. Affirmative. Unit ready. We'll take that for ourselves. Construction complete. Advanced guard towers aren't attacking us because they are low power. The guard tower is attacking our house to that location, that's fine. And we are rolling in the cash at the moment. Sure, if they have another harvester. Unit ready. Waiting order. Affirmative. Our base is under attack. Building. Unit ready. Yes, Construction sir. complete. Roger. Reporting. You got it. Moving out. Reporting. You got it. Just deal with that minigun. Yes, sir. Moving out. Yeah, continue Moving to deal out. with their guard towers. Building. GDI building captured. Yes, sir. Unit ready. Yes, sir. Moving out. Unit reporting. Moving out. Unit reporting. Yes, sir. Unit reporting. Yes, sir. Ready and waiting. Affirmative. GDI building. 
building. May as well take the refinery so they can store some of our money for Unit us. And yeah, that's basically it. We have basically won this mission now. Building. Unit ready. Building. I think they don't like that silo because it might be the northernmost unit. Right Construction complete. Reporting. Roger. Right away, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> unit report acknowledged. And once we destroy it, remaining, uh, there will be a win. Show you the Tyrone field yes. I was talking out okay. about up at the top left corner. And oh, they still have that helicopter, but I think we don't have to destroy it to win the mission. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Acknowledge. Acknowledge. Yes, sir. Okay, they've got a couple of tanks there. Oh, so we need to get to them. them with our own medium tanks. Reporting. Affirmative. Right away, sir. Yes, sir. Moving out. Okay, so a lot of Tiberian on this map. We are rolling in the cash. Battle going on here, but yes, unfortunately for them, they are outnumbered. But even if they weren't, Moving one up. of them was yes. going for one of our medium tanks, the other one was going for the other. So it yes. would have been hard for them to win. Yeah, we got a score screen. Now that's a rather difficult mission. Uh, uh, yeah, you, if you try to, to win it in the normal way, it takes a lot of it. It's a big war of attrition. But yeah, sneaking uh, units into the ship of transport and in the back of the base and taking over with engineers. Um, really uh, breaks them. The reason that mission is hard is because you're kind of stuck on low tech. You can't go up and get a nuclear weapon and you can't get mammoth tanks and yeah so it's kind of low, low tech but they still have advanced guard towers and guard towers and mammoth tanks and masses of infantry so it is hard to break them in the regular sense. So that is it for PSX Special Ops Nod Mission 2. And that's it for the uh, Let's Play Command & Conquer Nod. If you haven't already, you, you should go over and watch the Let's play Command & Conquer GDI missions. We've got a full Let's Play for that already. But if you have watched that already, uh, make sure you subscribe so you're updated when I do another Let's Play series. And also if you're just enjoying this Let's Play series in general, please subscribe. And as this is my final video for the Let's Play, I'd like to say Thank you for watching this Let's Play. Um, I've enjoyed making it. And yeah, and I've grown like a, a lot of uh, affection I didn't have before for this series. Like I've always liked this series, but actually playing through every single mission and 
um, analyzing as I go like you can really see like this is a real-time strategy game but at the same time it's kind of like a puzzle game as well and I do actually I like the graphics I think they've held up really well and back on the uh, puzzle game thing yeah so I like how you use like a s small armies of units but kind of in a like you need to be smart about how you use them and every mission you can use sort of a different strategy and yeah you can just try and mass tanks and defenses and win that way but this game sort of encourages you to use different tactics like engineers, APCs, you know transport and or like controlling a certain territory or turtling in the beginning or being quick in the beginning it's yeah it's there's certainly a lot of variety and I think it it does come down to like it is like a puzzle game like there's a lot of strategy involved about what units you want to use for what situations and how you are going to complete all the missions and uh, yeah as a final thank you for watching the let's play and um, hope to hope you uh, continue to watch my videos and my, next, um, my other let's play series to come and once again thanks for watching